Hello everyone. Welcome to the another video in my series Semantic Kernel. So this is the third video and in this video we will see how we can read the prompts from the text file. So we will be defining our prompts in text file and then we will pass the same prompt to LLM. So now here LLM your, uh, you can use any LLM like it could be your hugging face or you can take Azure OpenAI. You can even go with OpenAI. So in this video I will be showing you the code using both OpenAI as well as Azure OpenAI using the programming language python so let's get started and before you get started make sure that you have all the keys ready whichever the llm you are using so if you are using open ai then you should have your organization id and your api key whereas if you are using azure open ai then you should have your endpoint version all those things so anyways, I will walk you through, but let's get started. So I am on my VS code and make sure that you have installed the semantic kernel. So this is the current version which I'm using. And the first thing we need is uh, we need to invoke the function. So like in my, I have already explained in my previous video that using plugins, we can invoke or expose the functions. So functions could be your native or it could be your semantic one. So whenever we are dealing with AI related stuff or whenever we are calling AI you know, services, then we have to go with the semantic function. So semantic function is the one in which we will, uh, we use AI capabilities. So let's go ahead and first of all, define the structure of our plugin and how our function will reside in that. So I have created a, a folder named plugins and inside this plugins folder, I'm having my plugin folder. So now this my plugin folder can have multiple types of plugins. So the one which I have created is the Riddle. So Riddle is a, again another folder, which is one particular type of file. So each plugin can have one or more functions, but every function will do just one thing, one specific job. So in my case, this Riddle one, will do only riddling part or will just tell you the riddle. So inside riddle, make sure that you have these two files. So the very first file is the configuration file. So this configuration file will hold the configuration which is required to invoke your LLM service. So whether you're using OpenAI, Azure OpenAI, whatever, so you can set all your required configuration parameter in this file. And at the end, you can see there is something called input variable. So this is the section wherein you will pass the input which you will be injecting into your prompt. So in my case, I'm just taking a simple example wherein I want LLM to come up with a joke whenever I'm giving one specific topic. So that's the reason my name value is input here because input is nothing but that single word which I will be giving as an input. And description, you can give any. And the, another file you have is the prompt, this file, prompt.txt. So in this particular file, you need to just define your prompt on how it like how you want to define what all instructions you want as a prompt so you can just push in everything here and make sure to define this thing accurately so this variable has to match with the one which you have defined in your configuration so config is the json and the prompt is in the text file so when these two things are ready we are good to go so what we can do is let me open up this one okay so the very first thing we need is we need to import the kernel so I would say import semantic kernel as SK and then we need to import the connection related things. So for that we will say semantic kernel dot connectors dot AI dot open AI. And here you need to define the required model, uh, LLM which you want to use. So I'm going to use Azure OpenAI completion endpoint. So I will just take Azure text completion. But if you are going with any other, you can just choose the one which you need. Then the next thing is I'm reading my configuration from a file rather than setting it directly in the environment variable. So I would say from .env import dot env value so once these things are done we are good to go ahead and read our configuration so i would simply say and inside this i need to pass in my file name which is configuration.env and then i'm going to instantiate the object for my kernel so this is how i'm instantiating my kernel 
okay so we are done with our initial setup let's execute this one okay then I'm going to set up my LLM part which means that I need to inject services to the kernel what we are going to do so that can be done very easily by calling the add service so kernel dot add service and inside this you need to specify what kind of service you want so here we are using Azure text completion and then we need to pass in all the required parameters so the first one is service ID so it will uniquely specify your this particular service plugin so you can give any unique name or if you have nothing you can just say default as well if this is the only one then you need to define the deployment name so here I will define it then we need uh, API key so let's say API key config here we will provide our API key then next thing we need is endpoint config and I will provide it shortly over here then these are the three things which we need so let me pause my video and I will just furnish all these details okay so I have provided all these details I need to put comma as well let me execute this cell and we are good so next thing we need is we need to define the parameters for it and parameters are in the form of the kernel argument so we'll say semantic kernel dot functions dot argument kernel arguments and here we'll say import kernel arguments the next thing is we need to define where our plugins or the functions are sitting so for that you can just create a variable named plugins directory or any variable name you can create we just need to hold the path of that so plugins directory equal to in my case it is under it is under store here you can see so I will be defining that same path but definitely in your case it would be something different and then I am going to create another variable functions which is going to hold all the functions which are sitting under this directory for the given plugin so we'll say kernel dot import plugin from prompt directory and here we need to pass in two parameters the very first one is the directory name where our plugins are and then we need to define the name of that folder so plugins is that name then we need to construct our arguments so so I would say kernel arguments and here we need to pass in in the form of input so let's say you are looking for a riddle on animals so just pass in that as a parameter and then I'm taking the result in some variable so as it is an async call we need to use await keyword over here and then I will say kernel dot invoke and inside this we will just pass in our function then here you just provide which function because under your plugins folder there could be multiple functions let's say you may have riddle you may have joke or you may have any other fun related stuff so just pass that thing correctly and once this is done I think we are good to go ahead and print our results so okay so that's the only thing which we need to do let me execute the cell and you can see that the output is here what do you call a pick that knows karate and it is pork chop so this is how you can do it so whatever we have have done till now is using Azure but if you want to do the same thing using OpenAI then these are the few lines which you need to write so it's exactly the same it's just a matter of what all things you are plugging in and make sure that you are importing the correct uh, package which you want the correct uh, classes so this one is for chat completion this is for text and you can use any one of these whatever you want so the only thing which is different over here is these parameters and the class which we are using to inject as a service so I hope you got an idea how we can push our prompt to a text file and then pass it on to the LLM using semantic kernels 
So this particular approach is very useful when your prompt is not changing very frequently and you just have one fixed prompt and just the parameters are changing. So in that case, this would be the best approach for you to go with. I hope you enjoyed watching this and thanks for watching.